Looking for treasure or something of old Hoping for silver or better yet gold Well, I guess you know what this means. Everything is ready to go. I've uh, had to add a ground to these lights. I moved them up to the top. I wasn't thinking, but the lights ground through that bracket down there where they're normally mounted. But I didn't want to dip these in salt water constantly, so let me turn that fan off. So I had to add a ground wire. No big deal. And the next thing is I'm going to test run it. Make sure it cranks. And on the hose, and then I'm going to just put it in the water. See how it runs. And hopefully that'll work out. And this, uh, just put the new ball on here on the new hitch receiver. And remember, children, that's not a wrench. That's a wrench. <laughs> what is that? Two inch open end, box end wrench. Anyway, tighten the ball up. Got to open that up, put it in there, hook it up. Hook the lights up, everything should be ready to go. Um, everything. Everything, everything. Not just some of the thing, but everything, everything. Uh, I think that's it. Wish me luck. Okay, here we go. Sitting at the dock on the lake, waiting for treasure to partake. All right, this is uh, Tuesday, the day after Memorial Day, and it is 5:26 a.m. First two targets were um, bread ties. This is a a knickel of the 1970 variety. A few minutes later, <laughs> somebody's car key. That probably didn't make for a good Memorial Day. Late model, it's a chip key. Doesn't say what brand it is. Oh well, that's a shame. Well, I got a couple, a couple of bobby pins. And this target. Look at there. Hey, you see what I'm looking at? Huh? Can you see that? It looks like a gold ring from here. I'm trying to talk real close to the camera and real quiet. Oh boy. Let's see what we got. <laughs> That's bling, it's got it's copper. It's got a big dollar sign on it. Just a copper ring. That's alright. It's, it's definitely a ring. We'll take any ring. Pretty cool. It might look like it might have been plated at one time. Or maybe a little bit up there, I don't know. Anyway, pretty small ring. Alright, cool. Just two pieces of jewelry. Another target out here in about waist deep water. Got it on the first scoop. There it is. Another coin and it is another penny. 
a little worse for wear, but that's all right. Okay, there's another one out here in about, well, between my knees and my waist. Dang, looks like a bullet. <laughs> that's what we like to see. Because it is a bullet, or it is a, not a bullet, but a shell casing. Okay, next target, between my knees and my waist, is a, <laughs> another shell casing. And I thought it was about the same depth. Okay, here's one in here. Oh, just a couple inches above my ankle. And it is... The D DME. Mr. Roosevelt. Well, the good news is I got it on the first scoop. Bad news is it's in about the same depth of water as some other cases. But it's not. It's even worse than a <laughs> bullet case. It's a the original. The original twisted T. Yeah, see here? I can bend this I can bend this crap with my fingers. <laughs> Alright, so on to the next. Well this is uh right here on the beach right as I was marking my my spot where I come out of the water and I'll go about six, eight feet over to the right and mark it where I go back in. So you can see I've been doing it up and down, it helps me keep track, but nice sharp hook for a nice barefooted child. Well, I switched beaches. Uh, this is actually a freshwater beach. I just got one, uh, one penny. Uh, stepped right off the bank, three feet. Here, it's just another foot away as a quarter. So, it looks like there's a few targets out here. Okay, I got a 10 cent piece right here. Uh, the last two targets were just foil and a beer cap, but there's a dime, so we're on the right track. Okay, here's the next target. Looks like we got a regular clad quarter, about waist deep water. Alright, things are looking up. There we at for a second. Okay, I just got. Uh, Two quarters in the same hole. Here's the second one. Um, I don't know. They've been pretty good. I've only done this one little, about a third of this little beach and swimming area. So not bad for that. All right. See you on the next one. Okay, just about two foot to the left. There's a nickel. You're not an adult. Okay. What I got here to the to the beach, a little boy swam up and said that he lost a silver ring with dots in it. Well, <laughs> I just found a silver ring with dots in it, so I think that's him coming now. Okay, I'm away. Okay, here's a wrap up. I went uh, wade detecting today. I went to three different beaches, one saltwater, pretty small beach. It's probably I don't know, maybe a couple hundred yards long. And then two freshwater swim beaches on one of the local lakes here. One of them's about maybe 50 yards long. And the other one, maybe about the same, maybe a little less. Anyway, too good to be true. One pull tab, some foil, two pairs of swim goggles, a monocle. This is for somebody that doesn't need to want to save money. Um, four 9mm shell casings. One of them doodads you put in your hair. Three uh, beer caps. Twist off tops, I guess. A Vic lighter. That just froze up. Some poor sucker's car key. She was happy about that. Someone left their heart in San Francisco. 
Um, I don't know what that is. Sounded weird. Uh, some of those little bread ties. Um, or a bread, two bread ties. And then one, two, three, four. Four bobby pins. A child endangerment hook. Part of a zipper. Uh, three nickels, five, eight pennies, four clad quarters, three dimes. Now the good stuff. I got this little... I think it's just a bling necklace. I, this is black. It's possible silver, but it's it's just hard to say. I don't see anything marking it. That's definitely bling. It's got some little white clear stones in it, but I don't know. It could be silver, too. Um, got this ring. I thought it was a gold ring when I saw that part. Of course, you know, you always do. But it's just... Uh, copper, maybe a gold wash or gold play with it at one time. Um, I didn't really look real hard, but I'm, I don't think there's anything in there. I don't doubt there would be. And then this is uh, probably the star of the show. It's a silver ring. And it does say somewhere in here, I did see the, the hallmark, the 925, wherever it is. Anyway, well, I know I read it. Anyway, it does have a 925. There it is, right in there. Probably can't see that, but it's right there in front of my second finger. Yeah. Little silver ring with some little scrims and dots on it. So, that was the best thing we had. Hey, it was okay. Had a great time today. Uh, next is going to be the water hunting by boat. I got a couple chores I probably got to take care of. And then uh, that should be it. Alright. Thanks for watching. Bye.